a woman. Now, she's become very famous in Edinburgh's history and mythology. She lives in the city to this day. Her name is Mary Ann Duffy. The night she came down here, she brought with her her seven-year-old daughter, Claire. The chair went ahead, no problem, to be got to be friends. And that night, everything that could go wrong, did go wrong. The main lights went out. They're out now. I put them out, don't worry. <laughs> but, as we stood in the shadows, the lights and torches blown into the tour group began to switch off one by one. Please, put your lights off. <laughs> Just for a minute. Lights off, please. Oh. <laughs> well, that didn't bother us very much because the guy had his own torch. <laughs> but not for long. <laughs> In the darkness, we realised there was a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Mary and put a hand on to have her daughter, and she wasn't standing beside her anymore. She thought she was trying to find a player, so she couldn't find it anywhere. She walked from wall to wall. The group walked from wall to wall, but they couldn't find a player either. A seven-year-old child had disappeared in the room this small. Marion. Marion started to panic. Oh, God. Where are you? But she got no reply. <laughs> Eventually, the guy got his torch on. <sighs> Marion grabbed it. She looked around the room and she saw Claire standing in the corner. That corner. Marion was furious. Why did you walk away? I, I didn't walk away. <laughs> you did? Why? I didn't. I didn't leave you, Mum. I didn't. I, I was beside you listening to the voice of the man. As we stood there, the room got cold. I was frightened. I put my hand towards you, touched me to protect me. And as I tried to touch you, all of the lights went out. <laughs> so <laughs> It's in the grabby and the wind like oh. I thought it was you. I thought you were trying to fix me. Well, the more I held on, the more I realized it wasn't you. Hey, dog, it's nails into my skin. Hey, dog, it's nails into my skin. Oh, my God. Just as I thought I was never going to see your face again. Just as I thought I was going to die in the darkness. The lights came on. <laughs> and I was standing looking at that wall. Now, we don't know why that girl was attacked that night. We really don't. We don't know why, but it does still happen in this show even to this day. Now, the majority of people who visit us have been experienced nothing to answer to But we get emails every single day from people who are convinced that there are ghosts in such a bitch. We can't tell you what to believe, but we can tell you what we see here every day. What we've seen here every day for over nine years. <laughs> that final walk into the dark, that final leap of faith. That's up to you. But this is only stop one, it's only a ghost story, worse than that. Next, we're going to go into the middle of something completely different. Torches on the 